Report on island speed limit soon to be completed. Tobago gets its full budgetary allocation and the island's water production at 30%. Info Update. Bringing you the latest news, views and, and reviews, reviews. Along with responses, comments and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. A report is being prepared to address Tobago's concerns over the speed limit. Kern Freitas has the details. Tobagonians have been calling for the authorities to consider revising the speed limit, which is currently 50 km per hour throughout the island. Many road users believe the speed limit is too low, especially on the Claude Noel Highway. Secretary of Infrastructure and Public Utilities Gary Melville says a number of considerations should be made where the speed limit is concerned. The issue of the speed limit or the speed limit for a particular road has to do with a number of issues. It has to do with the condition of the road, the quality of the road. It has to do with whether it's a built-up area or not a built-up area and that sort of thing. Mr Melville says the division's traffic planner and engineers are working together on the issue and will soon complete a report on their findings and proposals for the speed limit. So we would have those proposals and we would have some discussion through, with our traffic management partners, including the, the, the police and, 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 and so on. And we would be submitting something to the minister for consideration because I, I, I would have gathered from his earlier statements that uh, analysis has been done and um, different rules around the country have been looked at. The secretary says the situation calls for an analytical approach. I'm Kuhn Defreitas for Info Update. The island has received its budgetary allocation. Here's more. Last quarter, the Tobago House of Assembly did not get its quarterly budgetary allocation on time. But the Finance Secretary says his division has already received Tobago's allotment of close to $400 million for the fourth fiscal quarter. I'm also pleased to announce that we have received our fourth quarter releases from the Ministry of Finance and the funding for, for the fourth quarter total $386.6 million to fund activities both for recurrent expenditure and for the development program expenditure. Mr. Jack says in the previous quarter, the country was beyond 90% of its overdraft facility, which limited its funding options, but this situation has since improved. The Secretary also gave an update on the island's budget proposal, saying it was submitted ahead of the June 30th deadline. He also recapped Tobago's budget request for fiscal 2017. Disaggregated, recurrent expenditure, total $3.22 billion, or development program, total just over $2 billion, URP um, and CPEP, total $80. $3.34 million and $54.15 million, respectively. Mr. Jack says the THA will reprioritize its budget once its allocation for the next financial year is announced. I'm Caroline Wallace for Info Updates. The Water and Sewage Authority says the water pressure being experienced in the southwest Tobago is due to a lack of rainfall combined with a harsh dry season. A release from Wasser says the Corland Water Treatment Plant, the main source of water supply to the southwest Tobago, is operating below 15% of its production capacity. This Corland plant serves Crown Point, Bonacord, Buku, Blackrock, Plymouth and other areas. Overall, Tobago's production is at 30%. Wasser has implemented a three nights per week temporary water schedule to Crown Point and Environs on Monday, Thursday and Sundays. Secretary of Infrastructure and Public Utilities Gary Melville says the situation demonstrates that Tobago needs a more consistent supply of water in the southwest. And we will continue to work and partner with, the, with WASA and the central government to get the plant desal plant um, implemented in the shortest possible period. That plant obviously would sim significantly impact upon the situation and, we west and the residents in southwest Tobago would have a more assured um, source of water supply. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Josanne Brassi, and you've been listening to Info Update.